So how's it going guys? Shane here back with another deck profile and today I bring you my budget branded deck list. So yesterday uh, I went to locals and I decided to uh, experiment with the Alba Strike structure deck since uh, I thought it would be the best investment for this uh, next format since uh, branded will be one of the top decks and uh, it has some pretty cheap uh, as some pretty cheap variants, so um, I think it will be a good budget deck for uh, most people to build. And I just wanted to experiment if the three structure decks by themselves were competitive enough. Uh, so yeah, uh, I just decided to go with uh, the three uh, structure decks. I made uh, a deck with the content from the structure decks and some really cheap staples. Uh, I think the most expensive card in here is um, on um, the staples is Nibiru, which was uh, three heroes each. So uh, it's not that expensive. Um, yeah, um, uh, I went two and two, so it went really well. I could have won the the locals, uh, but I lost two time to uh, the Sky Striker player, which ended up uh, winning the the whole thing. So, congrats to him! And yeah, uh, let's just get into the deck profile. So, what I'm going to show next is uh, for the main deck. It's only a 35 card deck, which is. Uh, the cards from only the cards from the uh, structure deck. I will be talking uh, after about uh, staples that you can play for both the five card, uh, not staples that you can play, but staples that I played for the last five cards and the side deck. So that, that's why I'm only going to show the 35 card main deck. You can complete it with what you think it will be the best for you. Uh, in terms of staples, uh, depending on what you have. Uh, I'm a pretty budget player also, so I play the really budget version. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So, first off, we go into three Fallen of All of Us. Uh, pretty, pretty normal stuff. Uh, you just basically want to have as much names uh, as possible for your uh, fusion plays. Um, there's not much monsters that you want to play in this deck either, so uh, it's kind of uh, a no-brainer to just play three Albas. Um, then we have um, the three Albion. Uh, basically, it's just an upstart for this deck uh, with uh, um, the good upside of milling any trap uh, or uh, spell or trap from the branded uh, archetype. So we can just, for example, send uh, retribution to so we can recycle uh, the fusion in, uh, going for your, our next turn and things like that. So um, it's a really good card. It helps with consistency, which was one of the main problems with this deck, since uh, you don't have really that much searchers uh with the structure deck so uh yeah uh really really uh good uh then we have the triple uh spring and skit to search for our branded spells uh i think this is better than uh, the keeper uh we're still playing keeper also but uh, this way is a better one because it can also get you to your uh branded lost right here so uh, it's good because if you already have the brand, it's better because if you already have the brand fusion in your hand, you can get lost for some protection, which is kind of nice. And yeah, you just want to see them as much as possible. Uh, then we have two Mercurier because it's basically a hand trap. Uh, if you have a fusion in your side of the field, one uh, was kind of not enough, so I decided to bump it up. To from the tests I've made with the deck and it doesn't break that much you already break with uh, whatever you put in its place most of the time either so uh, it's just uh, I don't see much 
reasons to not play him at three, at, at two. Uh, then we have triple keeper. Um, it's just search branded fusion as you just need to search shit uh, and you have access to it every time. If not, you're mostly going to lose the duel. So uh, keeper is just nice for that. And uh, his second effect also came up against the the sky strikers. So um, it is pretty cool. Uh, then we're playing for, uh, three valor for the hand traps. Uh, it's pretty nice that it uh, got uh, reprinted in the structure deck. Uh, it's a really cheap hand trap and a really generic one. So that's really, really good. Uh, but that's it for our monsters. Let's get into our spells. Spell, spells. Uh, it's just pretty normal. Uh, triple branded fusion. You want to see it as much as you can. No other reason to. No really uh, any reason to play it at any other ratio than three. Um, then you have the two uh, two branded in white. Uh, just because uh, I feel like sometimes uh, it can be a good extender. Uh, it can also help you unbrick in hands where you don't get access to the branded, branded fusion. If you already have the Alvas in your hands, it actually happened to me once. And uh, yeah, I didn't really have that much cards to put it in its place either way. So if you had better play cards to play, you can all also play it at one. But uh, besides that, there was not much for me to play uh, in its place. And the last of our branded spells is the branded lost. Uh, then to round off our spells, we have two extravagance and one called by. Called by is just pretty straightforward. You don't really want to get ash. Uh, it just ends your turn and leaves your board uh, really, really in a pathetic uh, shape. So uh, we just don't want to see uh, ash blossoms in our opponent's hand ever. Ever so, uh, called by the grave just to answer it. Uh, part of extravagance at two, uh, because number one, you don't want to banish that much monsters from your extra deck, you want to be assured that you have mirror jades and rebellions to do your plays. Um, but the deck lacks consistency, so I feel like uh, using it mostly as a upstart goblin is not is kind of okay, it didn't really hinder uh, my place for the whole, the whole tournament. So, yeah. Uh, I like it at 2. Uh, you can play it at 3, but you only really want to see this once during your duel, so putting at 3 just risks of you breaking a lot and needing to do risky stuff to uh, have place. That's it for our branded, uh, for our spells. Then we go into our traps and we play the triple uh, dimension barrier. Uh, this was really good and auto win against Sword Soul. Uh, really good also in the mirror match. It just blocks them from any place. And yeah, it was really, really, really important during the whole weekend, uh, during the um, tournament. Then we have triple warning point. Uh, it's also a really good trap uh, since you know we're uh, playing to, uh, the structure deck. You just want to have uh, as much traps as possible because you're not going to combo as much. It's more of a control variant. Uh, so the warning point came in clutch against uh, once again Sorcel and. Uh, the Trevor Grade one was also a really good, uh, really, really good to stop him with this. So uh, it was really nice. And lastly, we have uh, two Scream and one Retribution. Retribution uh, mostly uh, so that we could uh, recycle uh, branded spells in your graveyard, but it can also be. 
a really good negate if we have like two uh, extra deck monsters in our graveyard, uh, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, in I mean, you're gonna see it most times if you're playing control because you're gonna uh, dump a lot with Mirror Jade. So. Uh, and also because in this uh, variant it's easier to just uh, do Albion plays also. So you mostly have two monsters, so you can either shuffle Albion into the extra or just banish. Uh, I think it's return two or banish two. I I don't remember. Yeah, the return the two monsters. Uh, so yeah. It was actually really good. Uh, the screams were mostly for uh, when they go over your mirror jade, you just summon him back. It also, uh, he, once he goes off the field and comes right back, he can activate again, so that was really nice. And it actually uh, came into play in most of our matches. For the extra deck, pretty, pretty normal stuff. We have the triple mirror jade, the pulse monster of the deck, maximize, we don't have much things to play either, so I just want to see him as much and not risk vanishing off with the extravagance, triple albion and triple bellion, not much to talk about here. And then we have our two offs, uh, two try, uh, not try, uh, not try, uh, Brygrand. Uh, to search more courier when dumping with um, the mirror jade. We have two sprints to get into kit when dumped with mirror jade. And we have the two titanic lights to push for game because uh, it, you can make it with the Albion and you will get um, 3700 attack so that's really nice and that's it for extra deck well uh, let's go into staples so as i said uh, 35 cards deck so uh what i played was the two um fusion um deployment uh it's really good so you just get all a follow up all of us for free from your deck and you can go into his effect to fusion with your opponent's monsters so uh, it's really good going second um this, uh, actually i didn't see it the whole tournament but uh, there were some situations where it uh, most of the situations where it would have paid off and probably gone for an um, otk if i had this in our hand uh, it's a really cheap card. It also came in the Cyber Dragon Structure deck, so pretty easy to get your hands on it. And the three Imperm, uh, because I think it's a better hand draft than the Ghost Ogre you get from the Structure deck. And it's also really cheap because of the, uh, the Cyber Dragon Structure deck uh, that I own, so uh, I just decided to play it instead. Uh, they're really cheap. So uh, it's gonna it's gonna be one of the best end traps for new players to get because it's also pretty generic. Um, then moving on for what I played in the side deck, I played the Tuna Bureaus. It's the most expensive card in this uh, side deck, I think. I don't know how much is in perm at the moment, but I think it was pretty cheap. Um, you just really have to respect Cash Tira this format. Uh, there's already players in my locals that own uh, Cash Tira uh, decks, so uh, I just uh, you have to respect it at this point. It's going to be one of the uh, most uh, one of the strongest decks in the format. So yeah. Uh, then the three Ghost Ogre. Um, it's also a good end trap that comes with structure deck, but uh, I just feel like uh, it's not as great as effect failure. So we just left it in the side deck and left it for more uh, specific matchups. Um, then we have the three dark color no more. Uh, once again, it's good against cash era. It's just good to, overall against combo decks. Uh, so I just played three off because once again it's a really really cheap one. I think it's like twenty. Um, uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, 
uh, 0.2 euros basically so it's really really cheap uh, then we have double book of moon and one book of lunar eclipse because it's more cash tier outs that I own I don't have either the third book of moon or two other book uh, of lunar eclipse so I just played at this ratio and for the last four cards on our side deck I played the triple twin twisters and one uh, feather duster for uh, back row uh, removal which was kind of nice because I played against two uh, trap slash spells heavy decks uh, and it, it actually uh, w w came into play a lot and yeah uh, that's basically it there's not much to talk about if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments on below drop a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe to never miss any of my uh, future uh, videos and yeah I'm gonna see you guys next time.